Hi friends. On Bootstrap Biz Advice, I am always trying to find ways to help you guys to grow your biz without breaking the bank. And now that Canva Pro has expanded, there are some subscriptions that you may be subscribed to right now that you can actually cut because of what you can do inside of Canva. So in this video, I'm gonna just walk you through some areas that you can potentially cut from your expenses. And if you would like access to a free 45 day trial of Canva Pro to start saving right now, you can go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva 45. Without further ado, let's hop in. Okay, I know a lot of you all are still rocking a free Canva account and that's great. One of the things that I love about Canva is it makes design so much easier for anyone because of the amount of templates that they have available. So it is fairly well known for the social media graphic side of what it can do. However, there is an entire suite of features that are available and have a higher capacity for usage if you are a Canva Pro user. So I know a lot of you are not fully utilizing your Canva subscription. And so I wanna make sure that you can see areas where you can save and potentially as you start looking at your subscriptions for next year, maybe some things can go because now it is contained within Canva. So what we're going to do is we're gonna walk through some categories of things that are available for pro users and I'm gonna put like an estimate for maybe what that service would cost. I won't name them, cause I'm gonna be nice, but I will put an estimate for what that product may cost if you were to try to do it outside of your Canva account. So you can kind of see it's definitely worth it to upgrade. So I'm a huge proponent for not rocking a free account. You get access to so much more if you are a pro user. And I think this video will really show you what I mean. All right, so inside of Canva right now, we have Canva Docs, Canva Whiteboards, Canva Presentations, Social Videos, Prints, Websites. Guys, websites. We're gonna, we're gonna do another website deep dive this year because a lot of you don't realize the website capability that you have within Canva. Then of course, you can do your Instagram posts, brochures. You can edit your photos directly inside of Canva. So if you're paying for a separate photo editor, that could be an area. You can do things like posters, resumes, logos, and more. So that's kind of like a generic overview, but we're gonna go and do a little deep dive into the pricing so you can really see what I'm talking about. And then I'll show you some fun stuff inside of the Canva design editor. So if you are unfamiliar with the Canva ecosystem, when they attach the phrase magic to a feature, it typically means it is powered by AI. So we're all looking for ways to save time so we can focus on the things that we absolutely have to do. And if machine learning can do it better, why not give it an opportunity? So there are a ton of magic features that are available inside the back end of Canva now, and they can do some really cool things. So I'll try to do some really specific tutorials and show you how to utilize them. Um, some are intuitive, others are not. And so that way um, you can kind of add that to your design arsenal moving forward. Now, one of the features that I am addicted to is background remover. You're going to see that in my thumbnails on my YouTube videos. I actually take pictures and t-shirts branded for the companies that I'm creating tutorials about. And then I just cut myself out of the background inside of Canva. Don't need Photoshop for that. It does it in one click and it also does it for video. So if you are shooting video at home and you want to replace the background with just a plain gradient or something to that effect, maybe it's branded for your organization, you can do photo and video with Canva Pro. You're also going to have unlimited access to over 100 million plus photos, videos, graphics, videos, like it's crazy. And I will tell you back in the day, especially when it came to graphic elements, I was buying those from third party sites and importing them into Canva. And now it's just unnecessary because their library has expanded so much. You can fix an image fast with Magic Eraser, which will help you to brush over unwanted objects and eliminate it from your photos, which is a super helpful feature. 
And you also have Restore with Background Remover. If for some reason it didn't quite get it the first time, you can fine tune that now, which is really, really nice. MagicWrite, guys. MagicWrite is phenomenal because it will help you to not have to start a design from scratch, okay? You can use this inside of a Canva doc. You can use it inside of any type of Canva template and it's pretty wild. So if you're struggling with creating any type of design from scratch in terms of the copy, MagicWrite is built in to your Canva Pro account. Then there's also features like Beat Sync, Magic Eraser, we already talked about, Translate, Magic Edit. You can draw, you can draw inside of Canva now. You can create animations. So for those of you using After Effects to create animations, if they're fairly simple, you could do that inside of Canva now. You can use the text to image generator, magic design, which is pretty wild. That'll be a whole video in and of itself. Magic presentations are also kind of crazy and layouts and styles. That's going to save you so much time. Not only is it going to help you to find brand colors or a color palette for your designs, it's also going to help you to find font combos that look good with it, which is really, really nice. Let's just compare, shall we? So when we look at Canva Pro, you're gonna get full access to Magic Studio, which is all of those AI features. If you're a free user, you know, those features are kind of kept. You're not gonna have full access to the 100 plus million premium stock assets. And some of the other features that I really, really like are the ability to convert your designs using Magic Switch. Okay, so if you go, I will link it in the description. If you go to canva.com slash pro, you're going to see a full breakdown, but my particular Canva link is going to get you the longest free trial of Canva Pro. So this is a great opportunity for you to create your graphics now and utilize them in the new year. Magic Studio is definitely going to be the source of a lot of new content on my Canva playlist. If you didn't know, I've got a whole playlist dedicated to Canva tutorials. You can check out that link in my description if you're looking for specific use cases for the platform. So within Magic Studio, you have the ability to do things like transform, translate, or reformat your designs without having to leave the app. I'm doing an entire video about translation abilities within Canva, and that's a fantastic tool to help your message reach more people without your ideas being lost in translation. You have things like magic media. You can take text and turn it into a video. Okay, we talked about text to image, but now we got text to video. This is something you can play around with inside of Canva. Magic Expand is something that I can see a lot of people utilizing. If you want to try to save some of your zoomed in images, this will help you to expand the background, which you can do directly inside of Canva utilizing that AI tool. Things like Magic Grab. If you want to relocate something in an image to another place, you can do that now. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but I think one of the things that we don't talk about a lot when we look at a Canva Pro subscription or just look at Canva as a whole is yes, there are so many aspects to what's inside of Canva that will help you from a design perspective, but the collaboration tools for Canva Teams is another way that you can simplify the process of creating visually appealing items for your organization, whether it is a digital item or a physical item. And so I think that we need to talk more about the productivity side of what you can do in Canva um, because a lot of you are missing out in that area as well. So speaking of collaboration, if you are utilizing Canva to brainstorm with a remote team, there are things like the timer that you can build into a whiteboard and you can also pull up a brainstorm whiteboard from scratch or utilize a template. So a lot of people don't realize you can do this inside of Canva. You could do a SWOT analysis in here and you can pull in different post-it notes for that. And what's great is this is at 10%. When you start zooming in, you've got all of these little virtual post-it notes that if you send the link to this Canva design, multiple people can collaborate in real time editing this design, which is really, really cool. 
If again, you wanna set a timer on to try to keep people focused on a task, you can do that. And so this is a great way to use Canva, not just from a design standpoint, but to really get ideas out there in a tangible way. I have used this to map out workflows for email marketing for myself to say like, okay, you know, if someone comes in for a freebie, where do I want them to go? And being able to kind of click and drag things in that format and then put it into Flowdesk is a really nice application for me because I'm super visual. Um, so that's just, you know, one, one example. One of the things that I don't see you all utilizing enough is clicking on share and clicking on more. The amount of integration options within Canva in that area alone will blow you away. So yes, you can share a link to this, you can download it, but friends, with Canva Pro, you can schedule your content directly in Canva. Just putting that out there. If you want an opportunity to save a little bit more, you can post directly to social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, I guess it's X now, but Twitter, um, TikTok, things like that. If we continue going down, you've got opportunities to upload this directly to Slack. You can send it to HubSpot. I mean, a lot of people don't understand that if they click on more, they can save themselves a ton of time because they're not clicking on those options. From a productivity standpoint, you can even connect to Google Drive and Dropbox. So you're not doing that weird thing of downloading from Dropbox, uploading to Canva, re-putting it on Dropbox, integrate those things and save yourself a lot of time. So that's an area I would love to see more people clicking. The other area that is not getting enough love is clicking on the apps. So Canva has a ton of app integrations. I shared with you all about Lottie files earlier this year on Instagram. There is so much more. So you can look at the trending apps. You can kind of thumb through the carousel here. You can scroll down, you can look at what's popular, what's AI powered. I mean, again, I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and this continues to expand. So there is a lot there. There's also the ability to add some enhancements to your designs without having to pay extra, like the audio, okay? If you are paying for a stock audio subscription, this could potentially be a way to cut that subscription if you're not utilizing it that often and you want to just add music to a presentation or to a social media post this is a great opportunity for you to do that so don't forget click on audio click on video that's a great place for you to go there are even things like charts now inside of canva and so i know that a lot of you are utilizing the presentations to do proposals or pitches. And so if you click here on bar charts, you have tons of options. You've got lines and dots and interactive charts. I do wanna show you that there are, if we click on elements and we scroll down. Friends, we have tables. We've got tables, we should use those. Um, so there's, there's a lot there, there's so much there. Um, even within the elements tab, you're seeing, you know, generate your own images. You can um, look at the graphics that are there. They're going to give you some suggestions, um, some collections of different graphics to choose from. So it's really essential, like as you are looking at your Canva account, that you stay on top of the changes because those changes could equal savings for you. You know what? One last thing. One last thing. We have got to talk about Canva print products. Canva print products are constantly expanding. I've utilized Canva print for this shirt, for um, things like invitations and business cards and things like that. Um, but there's so much more that can actually be printed. If we scroll down here quickly, you see things like marketing graphics, which a lot of you are fairly familiar with, but maybe you didn't know you could do a pint glass. Maybe you didn't know you could do a wine tumbler or a tote bag. So friends, Canva is getting better and better and better. And if you are still rocking a free account, now is the time to sign up for my free trial. 
shondabrow.com slash Canva45 to get access to Canva Pro free for 45 days so that you can play around. There are tons of apps that are going to make your life easier and eliminate some subscriptions that you have within your business. If you are making landing pages in a different platform, utilizing the Canva website feature could save you a ton of money in and of itself. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure that you like this video and subscribe because I am going to continue to teach service providers how to work less and live more by leveraging tech and YouTube. Until next time, ta-ta for now.